Yo, 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 what's up, people? What's poppin'? It's your boy, Crazy Legs, once again on the inside, right here in Cravens. We know you all missing your wonderful, delicious street fast food, but not to worry yourself, as your boy right here have your luck. We have the best chefs in TNT in the studio that will help recreate all the dishes that you miss and love. You know your boy, Crazy Legs, I really can cook, and I'm not lying to you but I'm learning right here. And if I can make these dishes, so can you. So here we're going on, people. It's about that time, let me do this thing. Quarantine, we locked down, but we're making that food that we love. Let me see who's our big chef today. Hey, Chef Girls, back here again at Cravings with Crazy Leg. Last time we had that succulent barbecue chicken. We also had that wonderful stout punch. But guys, today we are going to carry challenge a little more. And I am sure that you can't wait to dive in at Cravings with Crazy Leg. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody at home who's enjoying our segment today, we have a man back again, the man with the plan, who does mash it up. I always had to say, my boy, Kel! Chef Kel in the house. Uh, 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 we quarantining people, don't worry about yourself. My brother, thank you so much again for coming back out. We truly enjoyed everything that you made last time. I ain't gonna lie. There's a boss. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. You have the experience. So, once again, we're here. And I think everybody at home wants to know, and myself, what, we, what where are we cooking today? Where am I trying today? What, what have, I don't know. The crazy, I give you have to test again. Hmm. I have some things here on the table. You know, as a power man. Yeah, so, power man, power master. So, what do you think happening here today? Hmm. Gosh, all right. Some ingredients that I see here. I see chana. I see corn, I see things that I'm not even sure. <laughs> You're looking like dal. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing here, boy? You're making. We can't make doubles, man. We can't make doubles. Wait, okay, what is it doing, man? What is it doing? Today, I give you a good corn soup. Oh! A good, with a twist. Twist, twisted and corn soup. Twist, and a little twist today. Okay, yeah. yes, this man is ready. Power man, boy. The man, corn soup. Last time, man, give me. Uh, a stout punch. Hey, talking about punch. Talking about punch. You know my virginal name, Maria, like that punch? True. What? The man name was like, that is, that is what we need. You really, oh, wow. really jump out here. But here I want to know now. You making any punch again today, huh? Because I've seen something do that, man. I can't tell you, I'm like, I'm seasoning. That's not seasoning, man. They catch me, they catch me. I'm making a penis punch. Ooh. 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 That is what I talk More power. More power. More power. <sighs> Power master here and uh, yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Let me get into it. I know everybody wants to know what are the ingredients that we need for your corn soup. Firstly, well, what we have here, we have the corn, mm. we have pumpkin, pumpkin, we have carrots. What colorful? Uh? Mm. We have some cream style corn here, right? And also we have a called chana. Mm. So you see, add a little protein to the, to the corn soup. Power. Right? That's the base. Okay, power again. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have our Maggi, because you know that Maggi flavor. Always. It's the best. Always. It's the best. Maggi is just top you up. Right? Yeah. Maggi is just end it off. Whatever it is you need, you just want a little pump. It'll get that little, uh, it'll get that little bang. Bam. We have the onion, we have the onion, we garlic. See, it's seasoning. And we have the main thing uh. from the of the soup. We have our chana. So we budget up. Yeah. It'll be really, really good to go. Ooh. Really, really good to go. Mm. And the punch now, I need to know what it is we need for this punch. Oh, well, we have this punch here. We have something called, we use peanut butter. Mm -hmm. But we add the warm water. So that's it, just dilute. We add that peanut butter inside there, the warm water, and the spices. Spices. The most other spices, we have our milk. Our nurses, milk here, condensed milk, and also the carnation milk here to go to that punch. Last time was alcohol for the adults, today's for children. Good peanut punch, good flavor, good nutrients, and nice feature what? today. You man ain't playing, boy. Mm -hmm. You're out here, boy. Well, right, since we have everything, brother, I see we have these awesome ingredients also. Once again, we have Nestle, and Asian milk also. And you understand the condensed milk, everything. So, mm -hmm. for the punch. Punch. Right? I like a tip, boy. Ow. And Maggie, so I know. The Maggie. Right here, we have the vegetable soup mix. We have the all cool pots, we have everything, we have the cubes to really make it happen. Make it happen too. What? It's our sponsors, we love them. I love all of you. Let's help you. Everybody at home, try it out, put it in. It will give your meal what it is that you need to have that street flavor added. 
Right, brother? Same so it's the first thing that we need to do. Wash my hands. Ah, on, yes, 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 yes. See, I can't catch my again. I thought <laughs> you'd have forget now, boy, you know? So let's wash our hands, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. You see all the ingredients that you need to create your corn soup and your peanut punch. Let me wash your hands. Be safe and don't go nowhere. Welcome back everyone, right here at Cravings with your boy Crazy Legs and I am here with Chef Kel once again. Kel, you tell them what we're making before, tell them again. Today we're making that dynamic corn soup, the local corn soup. Power, power, power. Yeah, power man. Mm. And then we have that peanut punch. Because mm. you know last time your punch was kicking. So today, those children today, uh, those who love that peanut, that flavor, want a good vibes now. Mm. So look at here today. So right, so we should start with the first thing as usual is washing our hands. And as you all can see, we are practicing social distancing. I am cooking here, he's cooking here. So remember, practice that also and anywhere that you go, people. So my brother, second thing is soup. What we need to do, tell me what we need to do. Are ready, you ready? You ready? Let me go. All right. So what we're gonna, what we're gonna do today, mm -hmm. first, is hold the pot. So. Most right. important, black and white hand. Any hand. All right, my foot. I'm not people. Not you. What? Right. Where am I the for? Look for You're trying to get a job out there, the pot. That's his idea. So, add some oil to the pot. Oil. All right. right. All right. How much oil are you putting in this now for a normal consul? Well, a little. A little. Try. Yeah. Nice. And we're putting in some seasoning. Some seasoning. Okay. It's a garlic, your onion, and your pimento. Garlic, onion, and pimento. You're going to saute for a little bit. Saute? So when are you saute for corn soup, man? Yeah, you must, so you must saute. You want to make sure that all those um, enzymes burn out and your food will spoil. Right? And then, uh, then after, you will add the base now. Everything will saute first. You have your china. China. Add some china. The base. So add some china. This is the base. Mm -hmm. Nice, we're going with that. Your corn, corn, your carrots, and your pumpkin go in there one time. Yeah, let me and allow this to fry up. So you can add yours here. Nice. What is the nice. temperature that we have to put this on around so? I see. Right now, you know, you want it around medium heat. Medium. Yes, while you don't burn, you don't want nothing to happen. Leave it there and let it sort it. So it flavors with the, uh, you know, correspond well and turn it up. As you can hear, nice I sizzle. Hear, I, I hear your chow in there already, boy. Nice sizzle here. Right. Beautiful, wonderful pumpkin cut up in really nice pieces. The cucumbers, the corn. Let's get it in. Yeah, you know, yeah. And open it. I love it. I just love it. Just got nice flavor. You want to get make sure the flavor them. I think it's nice and sorted. So this is the butter. So how much butter do we normally put for like? I say for we, that. We, we can have a good corn to for a good family house. So good like, family. Yeah. I, was, I, I like butter, but you can put about 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 for family. You put about two teaspoons. Mm. So about half a your spoon. Yeah, yeah. Two for them. Yeah. Butter give it that extra flavor. Some for use, you know, golden rain or other butters. Yeah, and golden rain was always like the, you coming down to the end, lady. Yes, touch it. Yes, touch it for the pot and nice flavor. Yeah, I'm gonna take nice. a little bit. I must remember you see. And continue to allow this to properly sort it and make sure it's well coated and all the flavors. Right? At this time, you can add, add the salt. Add the black pepper. Just to get in those flavors inside. I don't salt at all. I don't like salt. Can I put it all after? It's all flavor. Yeah. No, we have, but I will wear them. My sodium levels off. Okay. Yeah. What are people like? I'm going to just smell your pot. You don't put your nose on your pot. Just stay hand. Pull it up nice. This, this tube, like, oh God. But like, my blind eyes. <laughs> I don't come any morning like, oh God, again! 
Ah, we're getting some steam coming in there. We're getting some heat. I wonder why the, the highest side electric does actually cook uh, that well compared to steam. How high? Like in terms of um, fair, you know, yeah, degree. Degree? That's how I push up the around 600. But the beauty about electric is balanced. It, it don't drop. Yeah. Fire tends to fluctuate. So you get all the heat in. Some people have to believe that dumpling, soup must have dumpling. Some people... A corn soup? Yeah. A corn soup is a corn soup, eh? Yeah. A corn soup is a corn soup. Some people are born with that belief of, you know, always having a dumpling. Yeah, dumpling for Where there's aloo, macaroni, and um, that same dumpling. But soups are thin thing. Yeah. We, didn't make, we make soup into a meal. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. Yeah, what I mean, soup into a meal. Appetizers, eh, yeah, we are all appetizers. Appetizers, not no dumpling kind of soup. Yeah, just a belt, gas, and open your appetite. That is changing. That is changing. That is eating. Nice. So, you tell me it's sticking, but it's sticking. So that's good. So it's fr not sticking. Actually, frying nice. Frying. Okay. Frying. Right. So we have it all now. Gunshot inside. Ra ta ta ta. That was. Up really well. Yeah, the boy long, the boy long nice. Boy long nice. nice. I'll teapot now. And let it, hold it. Nice flavor. Add some water to it now. Some agua. How much water do you estimate to put for like a, a thing like this, really? I say I put like a, uh, about two cups of water. Two cups? And gradually add some more as it continues to cook. So add all this, right? Add all, yeah. And we add in the? Cream of corn. Cream of corn. How much you estimate of cream of corn you put? It's about a one tin. One tin? One tin. And how much I should put here right now? One spoon? Yeah, you can put, put all the other ones. Oh, all, okay. Yeah, all. Waste nothing. Waste not, want not. Legs. Talk to me. I feel it now. Thanks. Must sir. add this Maggi soup to this soup. Well, I see so too. Maggi vegetable soup time. Tell me to tear here. So all the nice flavors inside there. Excellent. That's half mm -hmm. So the soup here. I love this. I love this simmer. But I'm strong, my friend. My hand blistered from that rope yesterday. <laughs> my hand still blistered. It's still swollen, pal. Take balance if you want. My hand still blistered from that soap yesterday. I mean that rope. Rope. Yeah. I did bring that sign yesterday. <laughs> and it tapped in thick. But it can't fit under the hook on the van when I tie the rope. It's a real crimp, and I'm trying to pull another pull that rope. I'm coming home quite sure when I still bring that. Well, look out for me. When it's a sepia land thing, I did outside with my tent. Corn soup. And punch. <laughs> so legs, mm -hmm. what I can do is a little twist here for the children. Twist again? Yeah, twist. Nice. What I did here, mm -hmm. some roasted potatoes. Mm -hmm. So you still boil it? You yeah. Roll. Take this roasted potatoes, this nice little here, nice and color, and add it to the soup. So you got a crunch, a little texture. Nice, you can I get down for that, trying things, twist it up. Mm -hmm. So how you roast these potatoes first? Yeah. Flame, the, the stove. I put it in the oven. Oven. Oven, the pepper, the black pepper and salt and roast it nice. How about long so you, 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 you estimate? I say about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And I, I do it overcook, so I finish it put it with the soup. Nice, nice. I dig in that. It's actually looking real good. It's yeah. looking like a corn soup, but it's looking like a unique corn soup. Unique corn soup. Nice, that's, that's what I like to do. Yeah, finish it. Yeah, finish it. I wonder yeah, how it is. Yeah, I think it's already. Just what's up? See, my mother found I tell you this something wrong. It's just magical, isn't it? She put good. So, Carlos, I understand we have to lay the soup. Let it boil up a little better. Yeah. So, we're going to take a little break. When you come back, we're going to make a little punch and relax. And until that done, drink the punch and relax for the soup. That's right. We'll be back, people. Don't go anywhere. Come on, find out if your boy could cook. Ah! <laughs> Well,
Welcome back everyone to Cravings with your boy Crazy Legs and with us again once again is Kel, Chef Kel. We're making corn soup and I ain't gonna lie, I'm proud of myself right now, Kel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a great teacher, he's a great teacher. You have a school? Not yet. <laughs> you should, because I'm learning and this is something phenomenal that I thought I would never be able to be doing in my life and you making this possible. So Kel, this soup have to boil long and you know, boiling. make it get all soft and all tender and fit and things like the, like the corn and the potato and stuff. So, what then? Once, uh, I like the hair. Mm. Talk to me. So, what we have there? What we do here? Mm -hmm. uh, a little warm water, mm -hmm. the peanut butter. Why? You want the peanut butter not to be flaggy when you put the cold water and then to easy to clean. Mm. So, all the flavor everything is right there. Nice. Right? So, what we're going to do now, after we add that peanut butter and the warm water, let's put our spice. Spice. Right? Spice of your life. Yeah, add uh, two dash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's so nice, you put that for yourself, right? <laughs> and we're going to use the milk, our sponsor, most milk. important to us today. Add this milk. God, thank you. If it wasn't for I would not have the punch. The flavor. The condensed milk. And if you want to go, just keep a little lick sometimes. Mm -hmm. Wash your hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you were small, <laughs> your grandmother said, uh, Teeth in that condensed milk. Right? Here we go. Should be secure. We start. Quick and simple. When blending peanut punch, I add warm water. Or we shall start on low because the heat could hold inside and blow up in your face. Oh. So you want to be safe. Safe, please. It's number one priority. priority. Right, so crazy. Here we one go. time, I'm loving the, the texture, the color. Oh, God, last time I drank this man's so salt punch, it was something. And you see how the Kanisha milk and the mm. colors make from the have it nice and creamy. So don't forget, people, we know all the missing the punch, man. You know, take a little punch mm. on the weekend after gym. You make your punch right here. This thing is healthy, you know, you're getting tired of this thing. Protein! You can't simple. You can't simple. Where do you go, brother? Oh, yes. Once again, my friend. <laughs> it's good. Good thing about that is. Mm -hmm. I can see all the area. Good, good, good. good. Mm. Ah. Kel, I think I want you here. The majority of the segments. <laughs> Just naked punch. <laughs> Just chilling, making punch while we fool. Simmer in down. Mm -hmm. Nice. So what kind of essence do you normally add to these things? Do you believe in adding essence to your punch? Yeah, you can add a little bit of essence, but you cannot be careful and you don't add too much of an essence. Because it will overpower oh, right. the EPO. So I say the best thing to add is the bitters. If you add an essence, this add a little bit. You don't want that to overpower the peanut. Mm. It's peanut punch. Because you're, you're not making an essence punch. Not an essence punch, mm. I mean. It's peanut punch. Right? Mm. So, that's no, that's no, that's no overdo everything. Nice. If I do the sweet, it all that will smell and I will taste add more spices. Nice. It's good to know about your punches, people. Ay, 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 Kel. My soup. Oh, looking, looking good? Looking real good, smelling yeah. good. Is it? Wait. Shock word. <laughs> what is this? You can find my body proper. Texture is good. Everything is yeah. good. good. I see. Pick it up, taste it, and let's see. Let's see. Here we do it. Boom! And here you all have it. Corn soup, Kel. Kel's corn soup, eh? Matching for it. Ay, ay, ay! Bruh! I mean, well, I'm not making soup. Basic soup. When I look at our corn soup, I didn't really have to do all the things that you told me before. Like, it was action, I would say. All the ingredients in the beginning. I thought it was just like, hey. Corn water and potato and so on, just like it's okay, you know what I mean? But you know, but I didn't know it had all these sets of procedures to actually make the soup come out. But no one that comes to this, this is good. You can do it right away. And you will be right away. You should say, okay, this is the way to do it. Tell to me all the way. How many of you? Last time I did that, yeah. This time I feel on the end of the day. Is appetizing thing. Yes. 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 Yes
that that's it. You know what I'm gonna do? You might try. You know, you you swap the shirts here. We swap and see what I want. It was good. I think the better for this was my clothes. Yes. So I see how nice that my hair is in the end. Alright, this is my other shoes here. Join us next week Friday, May 22nd, as we recreate barbecue and corn.